Place your bets. Will he make it? Will he not? Welcome to Futura. Today, I'm gonna take you down. Down to the fourth division. To be more precise, the regional league west. Fortuna of Cologne is hosting Rot-Weiss Essen to heavy raids in the league that don't deserve to play at such a low stage. But reality sucks, at least for the two clubs. Both are still in the run for the promotion to the third and the victory tonight can pave the way back to the professional stages. Rot-Weiss Essen and Fortuna are former Bundesliga side, but their glory days date back to the 80s in case of Fortuna, when they managed to play a season in Germany's top flight, and reaches even further back to the 50s in case of Rot-Weiss, which in English means red and white. German champion in 1955, cup winner in 1953, and even though their glory days outdate the birth of most of nowadays Essen support, the club still has a massive following. I would even argue that they can contest to be the third most followed club from the Ruhr Valley behind Borussia Dortmund and Schalke. Sorry Bochum and the Zebras from Meiderich. Fortuna's biggest stunt in the club history dates back to 1983, when they reached the German Cup final. Sadly, they lost to local rival Erste FC Köln, Cologne's main and biggest club, in a very tight match. But enough talk from my side, let the battle begin. <laughs> While I was busy rolling my first cigarette of the match, this happened. 19. Spielminute, Tor für Rot-Weiß Essen getroffen hat der Spieler mit der Nummer 11, Simon Engelmann. few moments later. First half is completed and we already witnessed three goals. Well, at least I did, since I wasn't capable to get the Essen goals in front of my lens. But I promise that my boomer reflexes were much better in the second half.
82. Spielminute, Tor für RGE, Torschütze bei der Spieler mit der Nummer 20, Marius Kleinsauten. A few minutes later. I guess the 10 euro entrance fee was well spent. That was the best advertisement for lower league football. Six goals, a packed stadium and more than a thousand visiting fans from Essen and that during the week. Sadly the organized support of Essen was still boycotting the game due to the Roni restrictions. Otherwise it would have been an electric atmosphere in the array end. But I don't want to complain and my recommendation to you don't just focus on the top level football. There's so much honest and real footy happening underneath. And if you like it raw, this is a place to go. Thank you for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this small stadium vlog. Have a nice day.